I'm in deep trouble, folks. They've started the video revolution without me. Now I gotta play catch up. Here I am, 750 hard-earned bucks clutched firmly in my tight little paw. I'm at a neighborhood video store, it's typical of the ones that are cropping up all over the country. And in three minutes, you and I are gonna get an education. We're gonna learn how to untangle initials like VHS and CED, how to tell the difference between tape and disc. So let's get started before things change and get even more confusing. Now this is a video tape recorder, or VTR. Actually, sometimes they're called video cassette recorders or VCRs, but don't let that throw you. There's lots more confusing stuff coming up. Tapes come in two formats, beta and VHS. Beta, as you can see, is smaller and supposedly more sophisticated. VHS, on the other hand, is larger, and its fans claim it's more reliable. The only thing we can tell you is that you can't play a beta tape and a VHS machine, and vice versa. But if your primary interest is in recording things off the air, then a tape machine is what you're gonna have to buy. And it's gonna cost you. My 750 bucks won't bring back much change if I go for a tape machine, especially if I go for one of the fancy models that records for two weeks while I'm on vacation. Now, if I decide I don't wanna record my own sterling performances off the air, but just wanna watch pre-recorded movies like Jaws and The Godfather, then a video disc player is what I want. I'll save some money, of course. Most disc players sell for under 500, but I will be giving up the capability to record off the air. And even if I do decide on video discs, I'm still not out of the woods. There are three separate formats, and you guessed it, the discs on any one of the formats won't work on any of the others. Those engineers must have stayed up all night figuring that one out. Luckily for us, though, one of the systems, VHD, is not on the market yet, so we don't have to worry about that one. That leaves RCA's cheap, simple, but not very imaginative CED machine, which just shows you a movie. And the laser disc from Pioneer and Magnavox, which cost a bit more, about 600 bucks, as opposed to RCA's 450, and it's capable of doing amazing special effects. Fast forward and backward, freeze frames, instant access to any point on the disc. The only trouble is most laser discs available now don't lend themselves to this type of tomfoolery. Well, I certainly found lots of ways to get rid of my 750 clams, and I didn't even get into the subjects of software, of buying versus rental, the equipment you need to make your own tapes, giant screen projectors, or whether Walter Mondale has a chance in 1984. We'll have to leave those subjects for a future report, and I do hope you've been taking notes. <laughs> known all kinds of heroes. Now, there's Indiana Jones. He loves danger. And no matter what the risk or the sacrifice, he'll stop at nothing to get there first. What's your plan? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. The creators of Jaws and Star Wars bring you a totally modern hero in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Rated PG. Now playing at the Festival Modesto and the Regency Stockton.